Join me and Co on the LVA crew on an epic journey around Scotland organised by Paul and Denise Compton of Landscape Vlogtography Adventures. Our journey began with a little detour through the Lake District. We went over the Kirkstone Pass and down past Ellswater. Packed up in a leave by just outside Carlisle. Cause having a first uh, evening meal, van style. What do you got there, Car? Mexican chicken fajita. Is it nice? Beautiful. Loch Lomond. We had a quick, quick stop off at the bank of Loch Lomond. It was grey, wet, miserable, so it was just a quick stop and back in the vans and on with the journey. Our first night in Scotland and we pulled in at the side of Loch Bar and this is where we stayed for the night. I managed to get a few photos um, in the evening. Next morning it was washout. The landscape <laughs> photographer's dream. Pissing down. The day before this, he called with this. I'm drenched. Absolutely soaked. Happy days. <laughs> After the downpour of rain and an absolute drenching, this is worth it. There's all the crew over there. All busy doing their things. Nature. Despite the weather, Glencoe area was absolutely stunning. The mist, the rain, the force of the water, it was just a beautiful place. And uh, we even caught sight of a stag. track road up through Glen Etive was absolutely spectacular following the river all the way up waterfalls everywhere and uh, this was the road that took us up to Loch Etive Locketeeve I took a fall, um, tumbled over, crashing down onto quite a large boulder, hurting my ribs quite badly, but the most important thing was I saved my camera. Uh, this did put pay to um, me adventuring up the hills a little bit more than I would have normally, but hey ho, that's life. Our time at Glen Etive came to an end with a final stop at the Etive waterfalls. Another stunning location with the Bukon Mountain in the background. The 
next morning it was on to Glenfinnan. At the monument we were greeted with a double rainbow. We then walked on and positioned ourselves above the viaduct waiting for the arrival of the Jacobite steam train. Uh, this is also known as the Harry Potter train. Then at a stop to have a look at the Colpac wreck, we had a little bit of time here and took a few photos. Eileen Dunan Castle, which isn't too far away from the Kyle of Lokash. time to cross the sky bridge and enter the wonderful Isle of Skye. Another stop was the very mysterious but beautiful Fairy Glen. conditions were with us through the night. All the vans were rocking and rolling. The morning came and we had a great time at Ankoran. Here's a few images of our time on the beach.
after Ankoran Beach, we headed up to the Kurang. What an amazing place, and it's looked so mysterious with the, the low mist, the rain. Me and Cor only walked up as far as we could. I was still nursing pretty sore ribs and it was uh, enough just to get where we could and admire the views. If you look carefully, you can see Paul and Denise stopping to take some photos on their way up the Kerrang. That's me and Carl back in the van safely after walking towards the Kerrang. We didn't make it to the top as always next time. It was, it was good fun in the rain and the mist and it was pretty spectacular. So it's time for a brew now and something to eat. Say bye bye Carl. We then headed over to Neast Point with the aim of catching the sunset. It was looking promising as we got closer. After so many days of rain, it is so nice to see a bit of light in the sky and the sun peeping through. went down the cliff face to get a better viewpoint for the lighthouse etc um, me and Carl stayed up on the top again we had a superb view and just enjoyed watching the sun going down slowly and capturing some photos from this beautiful place It was then off to Portree for some haggis and chips, and then we drove on to Kiltrock Car Park for the overnight stop. Kiltrock Waterfall. Next morning I couldn't join the crew on the walk up to the old man of store. My ribs are now really bad even when taking a deep breath. It was nice just to have a chill out morning, just relaxing in the van with a cup of tea and some breakfast of car. From store we went to Portree to get a nice lunch and after that we uh, headed for a quick stop at Sligacken to get a, a photo of the well photographed bridge. We 
then headed over to Elgol Beach where we were hoping to get, in get there in time to catch the last of the day's light and have an overnight stop there at the beach car park ready for an early morning shoot. shots at Elgol Beach. My rooms were a little better and I pushed myself a bit further. I had a thoroughly enjoyable time on the beach that morning. Again, the rain came in. Fortunately, at this stage, I was back in the van and I turned round and we've seen a lovely rainbow to finish our time off at Elgol. On leaving Elgol, the long drive through the narrow roads was absolutely spectacular, witnessing low cloud, mountains, locks, and beautiful reflections. And after a stop off for lunch, it was time to head back to Glencoe. We had a quick stop off just at the side of the road to capture some of this beautiful, amazing scenery. This is on the way to Invergari. We had a special stop at the Commando Memorial near Spine Bridge. Please pause with me for a moment to reflect and remember all our fallen. Thank you. Beautiful autumn colours as we pass near Spine Bridge. stop over at Glencoe most of the lads were up to a challenging morning going for a high viewpoint above Glencoe. Denise and Cor stayed at the vans and Martin and myself we stayed local and low near the river and the cottages.
last full day on our road trip from Scotland with the LVA group and Paul and Denise and the gang and me and Carl have had a fab time even though the weather has been pretty awful. Uh, so we're heading from Glencore now over to Queen's Ferry. Bye! We were blessed with arriving in Queen's Ferry to a lovely evening with nice sunlight going down at the end of the day. morning of the trip before starting the journey home a lovely sunrise at the fourth rail bridge All good journeys must come to an end. What a fantastic experience shared with lovely people. Now travel down to Nantwich with Paul and Denise who kindly put us up on the way up to Scotland and on the way home for a night and a well-earned Indian takeaway. Can't beat it. A huge thank you to, to my wonderful wife, Corrie. Call to all the gang. We had a wonderful time, amazing experience. How she put up with me for nine nights in the van, I do not know. But thank you for a wonderful journey together, my darling. I love you so much. Yeah.